dragon is always at war against Christ and those who follow Christ. You know, you look at what's happening um, in America today. And this isn't very popular to say, but the white Christians are under attack. Oh, but, but Pastor Ben, that sounds pretty racist. No, it's not. It's part of this battle. This battle that's going on, the reason why you see mass immigration, illegal and legal, is because the dragon is trying to drown out this woman's seed. He's trying to pollute it and contaminate it and, and, and wipe it off the face of the earth. Because he knows that they are the children of the kingdom. And he wants to wipe out any mention of Christ. And that's why you see today the dragon always trying to stir up race uh, troubles. You see it when a cop defends himself from some thug that just went into a, a um, uh, this just happened recently in Missouri. Some thug went into a, a convenience store, stole some cigars, pushed the owner down or the worker, whoever it was, pushed him out of the way like, who are you going to, what are you going to do? And then he goes out and there's, I guess there's been 12 witnesses to confirm this story. Then he goes out and he's walking down the middle of the street like a thug and uh, and a cop come uh, pulls up and says hey get out of the street and he says no what are you gonna do about it and then the cop later hears on his radio that there was just a burglary a strong-arm burglary burglary that had happened nearby so he goes back, figures this is probably the, the kid, eight, was he 17 or 18? He goes back, confronts him. The kid pushes the cop back into the car, gets into the cop car and has a struggle with him. The cop goes for his gun. Um, and, the, and there's a struggle for the cop's gun. Then the kid gets out or the thug, gets out. The cop chases him down, and then that thug turns around and bull rushes the cop. And then that cop unloads on him to save his life. And then what do you have? You have the black community, led by Jesse Jackson and others, saying this is another example of racism, the bad white cops always just killing innocent black kids. Who do you think stirring up this trouble? Who do you think's trying to present the image of the evil white men in this nation? That, uh, you know, we have a, a, a president today that goes along with this. That since the beginning, a white Christians have been on his target, especially white Christians who own guns. And that's because the dragon is controlling these forces. And he's got his sights set on white Christian America. Am I afraid to say it? Hey, you're not going to hear too many pastors say that because they're going to say, oh, you're, you, you know, you're a big racist for saying that. Hey, this war that's going on is based off of race. And, and between two Christs, the false Christ and the Antichrist. How do I say that? Because it's between the woman's seed, her family, her lineage, her race, and the serpent seed, his family, his lineage, and his race. Now, when you look at the Bible, the Bible definitely deals with family lines, with genealogies. 
And the reason the world, again, I'm going to go back to this, the reason the world hates white Christians more than anybody else is because they make up this royal family of the earth and they want to be a part of the dragon. It's an opposite kingdom to them. The dragon has deceived most of the world. Oh, you know what, Pastor Ben, what are you talking about that, the, that the, uh, this is a war against um, primarily? Now, there are a lot of good Christians that are persecuted and martyred because they've, they've joined into this kingdom, this family. But all you got to do is go to Revelation chapter 12, and we're not going to read it today. But you get to the end of it. Verse 17, Revelation 12, verse 17 says, And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Of her seed. What is a seed? It's a family lineage, a physical descent. He makes a war against that race which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. That war is waged against Israelite Christians who keep the commandments of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Again, this war between the dragon and the woman and then the beast versus uh, the woman. It's the world ganging up on this family because they don't want this family to rule over them. Obama would blame everything on, like I said before, Obama blames everything upon colonialism when Christians colonized the world and brought civilization and spread the gospel of the kingdom. He says that was evil. Now we need to go back to uh, uh, letting the pagans rule. How does that work out? Look at the third world countries um, of where some of these people come from. Do we want America to be like that? Is that better than what we have? Are we the bad guys? Because we've based our laws in our society and our communities off of the Bible? Think about that. This war is waging. And behind it, you will always see those who are antichrist, those who reject Christ. I didn't even finish this verse, and it gets even better. 